Hi, I'm Irvin, and behind the camera there is Jenny. We're the owners of Backchat, and this is a series of small videos which we're putting together, and uh, the idea is that we'll send them to potential buyers to give a bit of an idea of what we've got here. Just a general pan of the back area of Backchat. Moving on to the traveller system, as you can see it extends across the full width of the boat, a good six metres I'd imagine. We've got the double locking system here and the line which goes onto this smaller of the two winches. It can then winch the traveller in any direction and use the lock offs to hold it in that position. Moving on over here we've got our trusty dinghy. It's seen a lot of use. We still uh, obviously use it regularly and it still works reasonably well. At some stage I think somebody may consider replacing it. W worth pointing out though at this stage is the, the um, hoist system that we've got here. As you can see these two ropes go up inside, into the Taraga bar where there's a series of um, pulleys. The rope then comes down the Taraga bar and Jenny's probably up to it, yes. We can bring that rope across to the main pulley and winch the boat without too many problems up and down. Next area of interest is the helm area. As you can see, a fairly substantial stainless steel wheel. This lid here folds out of the way when we're sailing. That allows you to fairly very good vision forward of the boat while standing on the bench here. A second way we use of is we use of steering is actually sitting down like this and then using our feet to steer. Once again we've got good vision this time along the side of the boat. Obviously I haven't got very good vision on the other side, that's where Jenny comes into the picture. Um, she's to keep an eye on the, the uh, right hand starboard side of the boat. Moving on to the in instrumentation, probably fairly self explanatory. The, two, the controllers for the two 40 horsepower Lombardinis, the instruments for the same. Over here we've got the wind indicator, wind speed indicator. Above that we've got a hummingbird depth gauge. Moving around to the side here, we've got the Course Master Autopilot. We just replaced this more well, six months ago, and it's been the, it was the biggest uh, major improvement to our lifestyle that we've had on the boat in the seven years. We often refer to this little fella as our third crew member. Below that, we've got the uh, shore power input. Worth mentioning about the autopilot is the positioning here that if necessary, you can actually control it from inside here, putting your hand through. From the inside and making the adjustments in direction there. Our storage area in this back area. For me the most important one is this quite large uh, hole here uh, where I keep my, most of my fishing gear and the uh, goggles and flippers and various bits of that nature. On both sides we've got these areas where I, on this side I've got the uh, petrol for the dinghy, on the other side actually we've got the same, also more petrol. Here we've got, well we don't actually use them, they tend to accumulate junk more than anything else, but obviously I can open one to give you a bit of an idea of the depth. Fairly small, but uh, they good for ropes and such like. Going back one step, this is where the LPG is uh, stored, we've got a 9 kilo bottle and then the two kilo bottle in the corner there. Moving up to our laundry area. This uh, table here moves out of the way and that then gives access to our small twin tub washing machine. Uh, it's one of Jenny's favorites uh, on the boat. Um, yeah, she, she's, um, we use it regularly. It's not actually fixed down permanently here, and it's quite a light machine, so it would be quite simple to move it to another position on the boat if you should so desire. Um, 
we haven't found a better position for it, and so we've, we tend to leave it here permanently. Going across the boat here, we've got the air conditioner, which services the main salon area. Down below here, I've got the 4kVA generator. It's quite a large beast. We, um, I bought it specifically so that I can run the air conditioner and for situations like here, where we're out at anchor without shore power, uh, we can put the generator on the back uh, steps and run the air conditioner. Obviously it's not ideal. The air conditioner is much more suited to being uh, in the marinas on shore power. But uh, both systems work effect effectively and uh, yeah. I think that's probably all we've got on this uh, this first video.